What should you eat after the gym to build more muscle? The age old question. Everybody will tell you so many different things to eat after the gym. You need to have this, you need to have that. But in this video, I'm going to explain exactly what you should do post gym in order to build muscle. So first and foremost, we need to talk about the most important elements for building muscle. That is one, your total calories. You need to make sure that you're in a calorie surplus if your goal is to maximize muscle mass. Two, we need to look at your total protein intake. Are you eating adequate amounts of protein to fuel the muscle building process? And three, is your training giving you the proper stimulus that you need to build enough muscle? Once those three boxes are ticked, then we could talk about what to eat post-workout. A lot of guys focus on the minutia and instead miss the big picture. That's the big picture. So if you can answer yes to all of those questions, your calories are sufficient, your protein intake is good, and your training is hard enough that you're stimulating muscle mass and you're also recovering, now we could talk about what to eat post-workout. So you need to check those boxes first. So first things first, we're going to talk about fat in a post-workout meal. Fat in a post-workout meal is not a good thing to have because fat slows down the digestion of the food that you're eating. And we don't want that. After the gym, we want to shuttle the nutrients that we need into our muscles. And if you have fat intake after the gym, what you're basically doing is you're going to slow down that shuttling process. And we don't want that. So we want to try to keep our post-workout meal as low in fat as we can. These, this meal and your pre-workout meal should be the lowest in fat meals of the day that you're consuming. Okay. So keep that in mind. So that's the first thing we're going to talk about. Fat intake has to be low in this meal because again, we want to get the nutrients to the muscles directly so they can rebuild and repair. Next thing, we're going to talk about protein intake. So protein, obvious, we all know that protein is very important for muscle growth, but how do you know that it's actually that important? Well, remember, in order to grow muscle, we need to signal our body to go through a process called muscle protein synthesis. We basically need to give our body the building blocks it needs to put on muscle. And we need to do this every three to five hours throughout the course of the day by consuming adequate amounts of protein. But post-workout is a more is an important time to have this as well because we need to get that protein into our system because we just broke it down. And as the expression goes, Muscle isn't built in the gym. It's built through recovery after the gym. So protein intake, we have to make sure that we're getting an adequate amount to stimulate muscle protein synthesis. So again, depending on the person, because I'm not sure who's listening to this, you want to get anywhere between 30 and 50 grams of protein immediately after your workout. All right. And I'm going to tell you which forms of protein, because that's probably the next question you have. Well, what should I have? Should I have a shake? Should I have this? So the approved sources of protein that I'm going to tell you about, chicken, Egg whites, Greek yogurt, lean beef, 96 or better if you can, and tuna fish. Okay, those are your approved sources of protein. And if you are a last resort, then you could have a protein shake. Now, why, why am I doing that, right? Like, why is that important? Why is the protein shake the last resort? Shouldn't that be first? It's always better to have real food. Again, you never really know what's in your protein shake. I'm not saying that that protein powder is bad or anything. I use protein powder, but I always use protein powder as a last resort. I'd much rather eat whole food sources as opposed to having shakes. Again, just because you're never really sure what's in the protein shake period and real food has always been around. Your body knows how to use real food. So I would always opt for real food. Plus after a workout, for me personally, I'm always way more hungrier after a workout. So when I have a full meal, like actual food sources, as opposed to a shake, I'm always much more content. So I'd rather eat post-workout than have a shake post-workout. That's just my personal preference. Again, I'm not saying protein powder is bad, but I only use it as a last resort. Okay, I like to have whole foods first. All right, so that's the protein portion of the meal post-workout. Next, we're going to talk about carbohydrates and we're going to address carbohydrates. So carbohydrates are your body's main source of fuel, meaning that what your muscles rely on is carbohydrates or glycogen. Your body eats carbohydrates, turns it into glycogen, put, stores it in your liver and in your muscles. So after a workout, your body's obviously depleted of glycogen. So we need to replenish that. And again, going back to what I said in the beginning of this, we need to make sure that fat intake is low here. Because if we have a carb source that has a lot of fat in it or a protein source that has a lot of fat in it, we're going to slow the digestion of these things down. 
That's why the protein sources I listed were all low fat. So when it comes to carbohydrates, we need to make sure that we're having low fat carbohydrate sources, and we're going to stick with simple carbohydrates here. Nothing complex, nothing that's going to take a long time to digest. So the approved carbohydrate sources post-workout, fruits, potatoes, rice, cereals, pastas, things like that. Things that are easy to digest, simple and easy to eat without, and won't like bloat your stomach or slow down digestion. It's not really that full of fiber or anything like that. So those things is well, are going to check the boxes. Now, how much, how many carbohydrates should you usually have post-workout? The answer is it really depends on you, your body, your metabolism. If you're actually trying to put muscle on, if you're dieting, it really depends. So this range is kind of big. So I gave a range of 30 to 120 grams post-workout. Now, obviously, if you're on the lower side of that, you probably are like a keto type person or someone who has low fats or whatever, uh, sorry, high fats. But you get the idea, right? Like 30 to 120 is enough to replenish what you did. And you want to try to make this post-workout meal probably your biggest of the day. Your body is the most sensitive to nutrients after you work out. So you want to try to get as much as you can in during this window because this is when your body is sensitive to it and it's going to utilize more of the food that you actually ate for muscle building purposes. All right. So again, if you want like a sample, like what should you eat? What are some sample foods? Well, we can go through a couple. You have like chicken and rice is great. So if you head on over to like Chipotle or something like that, that would be good. Uh, you know, you could do a lean beef on like, um, on like a taco shell. You could kind of do that because those are low fat too. Uh, you could do like beef and potatoes, you could do egg whites and, you know, bread if you wanted to. Like simple meals like that. Greek yogurt and cereals, another great option. And then as a last resort, you can always do like a protein powder with like fruits or a protein powder and cereal, something like that. Quick and easy. Don't overcomplicate it, guys. There's no such thing as magical foods. It's all about the amounts that you eat. So just make sure that you're focusing on getting an adequate amount post-workout and you'll be fine. So now we talked about what to eat post-workout, but again, what if you're not checking that box like I talked about with stimulating proper training? Like, are you stimulating your muscles enough? Well, you're in luck because I have a free six-week training program that I'm going to give you for free. No questions asked, no strings attached. Just click the link below. Pick up that free six-week program to help you make sure that you're checking the box of stimulating muscle and building more. This was Anthony, AB Fitness. I'll catch you on the next one.